I, I understand that, the, I mean, the Secretary General did this town hall meeting uh, mm -hmm. earlier today, and I wanted to ask, it, it, it's, uh, it, various people have, have said that he, among, among his statements was that apparently that he said that he always flies commercial or only flies commercial, and mm -hmm. I wanted to know, since in this room we've discussed that the flight on the Qatari. He, he did not Okay. Say but can you, I guess, what I want to do, this what it triggered in my mind is just to, can we get a clear picture of, even, I mean, I've asked before to say on particular trips who's paying for the travel, yeah. can, uh, just a percentage, just a, you could even ballpark it. Yeah. What percentage of his travel is commercial paid out of the UN budget and what part is paid by member states or others? I mean, I've, we, can, we can try to help you out in that uh, regard. Thank you. We need some kind of uh, sometimes a noise or sometimes excitement uh, when we are sitting together. Uh, when it's uh, important that you raise your voice, but it's important that we show sometimes excitement and passion when you meet, uh, when you greet the New Year. That fly, I arrived with you know, commercial airlines. I saw many of my special representatives, they have their own planes. They come by airplanes, special aircraft, while I travel in commercial airlines. But most of the special representatives, they don't have that kind of luxury. But it's not the luxury. That's a minimum, minimum operational capacity. You know what kind of uh, facilities these uh, UN airplanes have? They don't have even water in the toilet, airplanes. That's something which I really have had the difficulty. They don't have water in the uh, UN airplanes. Some have, but most of them don't have. 